nothing to complain about. It's 80 degrees, it's beautiful, everybody looked healthy. Uh, all the pitchers went through what they were supposed to. Uh, nice productive day. Did you see Wakefield out there? What is uh, you know what, John, I, uh, I stayed in the bullpen and watched guys warm up, end up bouncing from field to field and end up seeing nobody. So I watched everybody warm up and then they went to their respective fields. You gonna try and get uh, Tech a little more comfortable with weight? Yes. Here. Yeah. That was the one thing we talked about in his meeting that, you know, that's the one guy we always kept him away from. Yeah. And we want both catchers to have the ability to catch Wake so we don't ever feel like we're boxed in if he comes out of the bullpen or something like that. Terry, as good as, as Jason has been over his career, I, mean, I know it's not an easy thing to catch that knuckle ball, but guys seemingly adapt to it. Why, why do you think he struggled at times? Well, because he didn't catch him. Uh, I, th I think if I'm correct, I thought he caught him earlier in his career. And then when he was the everyday catcher, he was catching so much that it was just the obvious day to give him off. Uh, and then if you're not catching him, that's not an easy thing to do. He can, he can catch anybody. That, that's, that, that won't be an issue. It's just some repetition with him. How about Salty sort of getting used to him? I mean, I'm sure that's sort of new for him. Yeah, it's, any, anybody that catches him, I mean, that's a chore. I mean, we've gone, we've run some guys, one guy retired, you know, it's, it's not an easy task. That's why Wake's still pitching. But uh, we'll, get, we'll get both those guys comfortable. And again, the big thing is not to feel hemmed in where, you know, we bring in Wake in a game and all of a sudden we, you have to feel like you either have to make a move with the catcher. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Wake for you looking in better shape this year. That's my imagination. I think that's your imagination. <laughs> I, think he looks, I, think he looks, I think he looks good every spring. He works hard every winter to, to come in a good shape. Terry, how did you think uh, Tech handled last year, you know, the first full season, I guess, where he wasn't the number one catcher and didn't get that many, you know, as many reps as he has in the past? Well, I, I actually thought he took to it as about as well as you could. He was on pace to offensively to have his best year in a long time. I mean, he was as productive as you could be. You know, the, the broken bone kind of derailed that season. He was terrific. Uh, actually think, if, and I know it's hard to imagine, he looks looks like he's in better shape now than he was. I don't know how he does it, but he continues to do it every year. He works so hard. He's in great shape. I think he's going to excel in that role. I think there's been, there's been a few times, a few years, where it looked like he may, might not be back the next year. He keeps winding up back here. Yeah, I don't think I felt like that. I think maybe that was more uh, maybe more media-driven. I think sometimes, though, the way the, the winner goes, things have to go at their own pace. I mean, maybe A has to have before B and C. And, and there's kind of a natural progression. But I don't think I ever felt that way. I know when we took him out of last year's game last year, the last game to get a little bit of an ovation, everybody made a big deal out of it. We were just doing it because we, we do that with a lot of the veterans. It wasn't a goodbye. It was just a chance for everybody to show their appreciation. You know, what are you looking for out of, out of the live VP? It's strictly for the pitchers to, to get a little bit more of a comfort zone. You know, they go from, you know, flat ground when they first get here to the mound to the field with a screen, then you'll see, you know, maybe the field without the screen, then they get into a game. It's just that natural progression. The hitters hate it. It's uh, it's difficult for hitters, uh, but it's, it's strictly for the pitchers to get ready. When you're doing infield, uh, Tito, on, the, on that one infield, and you see Uke, you see Scoots, you see uh, Pedroia, and then Adrian, what goes through your mind about the, the potential defensively of that infield? Well. You know, when we're hitting, you're doing that stuff, I probably don't think about that stuff. You know, we're just trying to get our work in. And I understand, I hope that we have a tremendous infield. While we're doing our work during the day, though, we're trying to get our work done. Um, my heart's beating a little too quick to think. Uh, but it's, I understand your point. It's why we do our work. We want it to. You know, the names you just said are terrific. Now the idea is to take those names and, and work as hard as we can so the pro productivity matches the name.